Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about serial adder. In the previous video, I have seen, I have given you the explanation of 4-bit parallel adder, 4-bit parallel subtractor and also seen the look at carry generator. So now, if those are parallel adders where the execution runs parallelly. That means all the full adders have the chance to execute parallelly. But whereas in the serial adder, we are using only one full adder that we are running for multiple times. Okay. In serial adder, in serial adder, we use only one full adder that runs for n number of times. Okay, so it is quite contrast with respect to the parallel letters parallel letters are different parallel letters where the inputs are given uh, how many number of inputs are there that many number of full letters are there but here the case is different where the number of full letters are common that is one for all the number of any type of the size of the input bit okay if input bit is a uh, 10 bit then the full letter is same 100 bit the full letter is same 1000 bit the full letter is same so we are using only one full letter to uh, work with n number of inputs that means, okay, uh, later we are utilizing its purpose for more than one time. It uses, it uses shift registers. It uses shift registers. One full adder. Here it is, two shift registers. One full adder. And one deep flip-flop. and one and gate one and gate these four blocks are sufficient to implement a serial adder so that is first one is two shift registers and one full adder and we have one d flip flop and one more uh, and gate okay so let us draw the circuit a block diagram of this serial adder So first one shift registers, we have shift register A, shift register K and shift register B, shift register B. The purpose of shift register for A and B is to produce a naught a1 a2 a3 serially okay so output of this one both of these two are connected to full adder so it is connected as input a this is input B and one more input. The last input is the output of D flip-flop. Output of D flip-flop. That is Q. And input for the D flip-flop is carry. Input for the D flip-flop is carry of this full adder. And the sum is given to sum is given to the input for the shift register A and here it is shift control shift control and it is the clock next one is clock ok each shift register is having three inputs one is the serial input one is the serial input and in the second case we have the inputs like shift control and clock the same inputs we are taking here also
okay now we have an AND gate also along with these two shift registers which takes the same inputs like your shift register A and shift register B. The output of this AND gate is connected as the clock for the D flip flop. The output of this one is connected as the clock input for this D flip flop. And here we have a clear pin. Here we have a clear pin. When this clear pin is enabled, the output is zero. When this clear when this clear pin is enabled, the output is zero. See here it is active low pin. That means we need to pass zero on this in order to get activated. In order to get it activated. But when this clear is equal to one, then the remaining operation of the D flip flop is followed. Respect to of clock, it works when clear is enabled. If it is disabled, if clear pin is disabled, depending upon the rising edge, rising edge or falling edge, the output is varied. Okay. So what happens now here? See, it is serial in serial of shift register. The main thing is serial in serial of shift register. It is the serial input here. It is the serial input here. So the input is given through the serial input bit and the shift control will give the data to be transferred to the output. This is serial output. Here also we are having serial output. Okay, that means let us consider here I am having four bits A, A0, A1, A2, A3. These are the four bits we have. And here it is B3, B2, B1, B0. Okay, so first A0 will come from this and here B0 will come from this. So these two are given to full adder and if any previous carry is there that will be applied here as there is no previous carry simply zero will be added here okay now here we have a naught here we have b naught and here we have c naught so whatever the full adder that it generally consists the same three inputs are appeared here okay so again it produces sum and carry based on the input these three a naught b naught c naught and again in the next stage the next coming bit is a1 here and here it is a1 here b1 here so a1 from this serial output a2 uh, b1 from this serial output so a1 b1 and if any carry is generated in the previous stage that will be added to the again coming out of the queue through the d flip flop we need to keep one point in mind that what is the purpose of the D flip flop here when this D flop D flip flop is not there there is a there is a and there is not they are not in synchronization each other okay a not b not some other value will come here okay in order to get synchronization between the past output and present inputs we should use a D flip flop provided the delay is equal to the delay occupied by the shift registers <coughs> Okay, the delay of the D flip flop must be the delay of the shift registers because the operation of the D uh, shift register is taking place by just uh, uh, shifting the data A0 to A4. So when A0 is completed, A1 will come and then A2 will come and then A3 will come. Here also B1, B0 and then we are having B3 and B B3 and B2. Okay, this is the way of utilizing one particular full adder for multiple times using shift registers to get the output to someone carry for any number of inputs for n number of inputs okay suppose if they are have if we are having five number of bits in a given number then a4 a5 will be added here okay so depending upon the number of incoming bits the shift register strength is decided okay so the shift register we are using is a serial in serial out shift register Thank you.